I mean, not them to use. Well, I use all my guns, basically, in my inventory. But she, on the other hand... Okay, well, it's just not talking to me. Sure, let's take a look. Everything hand tool. My inventory. Yeah, hang on. I'm looking at uh He's got fusion cores and fusion cells. He's got four fusion cores though. And he's got missiles. He's got three missiles actually or eight missiles for four hundred caps. Buy those missiles so you can go up against that swan. I did. I bought them. Gamma. What are gamma rounds used for, babe? I'll check it in just a second. Alright, so... You fed water. I need to go down the stuff that gets, gives you like hella high rads or whatever. Sugar bombs. So... I don't want those. Gives five reds or whatever. This is the whiskey that we had before. Whiskey, yeah, look at the stats on the whiskey. I don't think I have whiskey anymore. Let me look. Awesome. Sell that. We don't want that in inventory. That's awful. Whiskey's at the bottom? Yeah. Squirrel bits have five rads, fifteen health, so So I'm going to take all of my guns back, and then uh, I'm going to sell all the ones I don't need. I'll think about it. I'll 
Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. I'll take a look. Sure. Don't forget to stock up. I think that's my last shotgun that she has. Because I got rid of the other one. Remember, swatters will win you the game. The game of beat. Sure. Uh-huh. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell the bat that we have under weapons. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. Let's quick save it. Damn, babe, we are destroying this game. All right. It is awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the outpost here in a second. Let's go turn in this quest, collect our cash that that bitch owes us. She owes us a hundred, so. She owes us a hundred bottle caps, I think, for saving his ass, so. Are you here? Yes. I check your quest and see which one wants that cooler. I'm sure it's all in the room. Oh, God. Cooler. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Pay me! <laughs> About my reward. They always gotta ruin the moment with money talk. Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. I guess. Um, let's go ahead and quick save it. And let's, um, hang on, babe, give me a second. Let me fix this, and we'll start this. Uh, are you still playing Dragon Age? No. It says you're on Dragon Age. It says you're on Dragon Age. Oh, it's still. I haven't exited the application. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can. I will no matter how sounds like painful it might be. Ten minutes after you start the journey. Describe Vault 111. Describe the murder. Describe the kidnappers. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me Describe the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. Kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. What else can you tell me? Um, let's go to murder. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they—they they just. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. Waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. 
lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? Um. We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. And that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about it? Alright, let's keep talking about it. Um I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Not much to go on. But a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. Everything was foggy. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. It's Sean. It has to be. Somehow. Don't jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Look, maybe he has a son of his own. Maybe it's someone else's kid. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Sweet, so we have a lead. Progress. You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Progress. Hope you and Nick find that monster. Leave that joke behind. Don't waste his face. Just looking at stuff. Light bulb, coffee cup. There's a fusion core there. That's about 400 bucks. If you were to buy one, anyway. 